What's up YouTubers? Drink water here. Making a little video on how to boil eggs that peel awesome every time. Alright, things you're gonna need is a pot of boiling water and some eggs. It's that simple. Alright. Bring your water to a boil. Get your eggs directly from the refrigerator, put them in cold very gently so they don't crack. Uh, once you do that, just set your timer for about 13 minutes. Uh, they boil for 13 minutes. Put it in the sink with some cold water, four or five minutes. Then after that, go ahead and drop some ice in it for about 20 minutes. Uh, peel and enjoy. I'll be right back at you. Peace. Drink water back. I got my eggs straight out of the uh, refrigerator. Gonna drop them in slowly into the boiling water. Bring your heat back up, get it to a boil. Once it starts boiling, 15 minutes. Peace. What's up, YouTubers? Uh, drink back. It's about to be 13 minutes. So we're going to pull these eggs and uh, put them in the sink. Drink water back. It's been 13 minutes. Put it in the... Uh, sink here and now we're running some cool water over it for about five minutes it's been about five minutes and so now I'm gonna drop some ice in it have those eggs cool off leave it like this for around 10 minutes and then we'll peel them I'll show you that peace what's up peeps we're back these eggs have been sitting in this cold water Whew. for about 15 minutes now I'm going to show you how easy it is to peel these perfectly cooked hard boiled eggs. Take it, squish it on the side a little bit, All right? Keep it in the water a little bit and look, bam, look how easy that is. Done. Perfect looking, perfectly boiled eggs. What's up? Look how easy they peel. Look at that. Bam. I like using a little bit of water. I mean, that's, that's butter. You can't get better than that. Crack them on the side of your pot. Roll them around a bit. Get some water up in there. And peel. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's money. All day. All day. We're looking at it. That's it. Drink water back. Boiled eggs, right? Perfectly peeling. That's all you gotta do. Alright? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, check me out later, alright? Thanks. Alright, here goes test number two, alright? I have found out that nobody watches my videos past three minutes. So, if nobody watches, I can say whatever the fuck I want because nobody's gonna see it anyways, right? I want to tell you a little story about the news that just came out. Um, they had this um, woman and man, they were married, got separated, and the woman was at her house with her new boyfriend and her grown nephew, combat veteran of Iraq. They were sitting there chilling. Well, the husband uh, was pretty upset, so he went to the house and was going to kill everybody. So he started shooting from the yard into the house. Uh, the woman, boyfriend, and combat veteran, they go upstairs. To get away from the bullets uh they chase him all the way into the bathroom okay they close the door and uh the husband starts shooting into the bathroom door trying to kill them all well he ran out of bullets he was going downstairs to get more bullets the combat veteran says hey look wait a minute i don't want to die here and let my aunt die uh fuck the new boyfriend fucking queer anyways jumps out the window somehow goes to his car they don't meet up the husband goes back in uh starts shooting some more the combat veteran comes behind him outflanks him and kills him right awesome uh the moral of the story is that 
in the comments on the news and on wherever is saying that oh he shouldn't have shot him he's probably mentally disturbed and all that see that's the reason why America's gone down by the head and uh, we all gonna die shortly because we have no intestinal fortitude okay no you kill that motherfucker he's trying to kill your aunt and the queer boyfriend you fuck him up uh yeah so whatever leave, leave comments whatever fuck y'all peace